Hello, folks. The old fisherman back with you. Hey, today I'm going to show you what we use today before I take you out. We caught a lot of them on uh, different things, but I ended up at the end of the day catching them on a big daddy uh, black with blue specks and green jig. And we got a green and a green on green up at the top and uh, caught a bunch of them on a little small half ounce berry spoon. They'll knock the paint off of it. Uh, we had a great day. We caught a lot of fish, not a lot of real big ones. But hey, go with me and uh, go with me on the show today. And I know you're going to have a good time. We caught a lot of, had a lot of action. Uh, I'm getting back better. Still got a little touch of the cold, but I am getting better. And thanks for all the well wishers out there. And uh, hey, we got my shirt on here this morning. And I seen Richard Jean had them on yesterday. So thanks to Richard for wearing my shirt. And, uh, hey, you got to love a good friend. And Richard's become a good friend of mine. And we talk a lot on the phone. So, hey, go to, if you had not watched Richard Jane, the fishing machine, go to Richard and watch him. He's a great guy and has a great show. And uh, thank a lot of him. And, uh, hey, go with me and I'll show you what we've done today. Hey, go to stevecumlander.com to get your shirt. See you. Good morning, folks. Hey. Back with you again, Lake Murray. We're gonna try to catch some of these doggone white first today. Uh, we're using a three rig right now. Um, we're gonna put on a uh, several different types of jigs and see if we can get something going on the three rig. Gonna try the Big Daddy first. And uh, we got a bumping spoon. See if we can make something happen here today on Lake Murray. Early in the morning on Wednesday, I'm feeling a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little bit. At least I can talk better. We're gonna try to get, produce a video today. Hey, that was a bite right there. That was a bite right there. Let's see if we can make something happen. There he is. Hey, there he is. There he is. I don't know what size they are, but uh, we're gonna try to catch him. Ain't too bad. Got him on an orange G. Oh, it bit the tail off. Oh, on this time. Bit the tail off. Hey, there he is. See, we ain't sticking nothing on there. Right quick. Got a lot of these orange jigs now. There's one right there. Good shape, but there's one right there. Let's see if we can get one to bite this one. Get organized. Can't get organized today. We got fish down there, we just get down there to them. Plenty of them, 21 foot right here. Let's see if we can catch them. By ourselves right now. There was a bite right there. By ourselves right now. Got a few minnows. I don't know. I don't really want to try minnows. I hope I can catch them with a jig. Might have to. There he is. There he is. There he is. Got him on a spoon. Using a berry spoon, a half ounce berry spoon, black in color, and uh, white. Kind of overcast, foggy. It really ain't overcast, but it's foggy. Makes it look overcast. 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got it going on now. We own some, they ain't, they ain't waffles, but we own some. Dog on three rigs, I can make. Tying a knot in a minute. All right. They ain't hitting that dog on red bug color at all. They want something orangey and gold. That's what they want. They have 21 foot of water right here. There he is. They hitting it. In 21 foot, they shallow. They down there too. Matter of catching. There you. There you. There you. On the spoon. Glad y'all could be with the old fisherman on another episode. Thanks to Richard Jane for having me on, having my shirt on yesterday on the show. You got to love old Richard. That's a nothing. Hey, that's a nothing. We gonna put it to him today. They might not be all big ones, but we gonna put it to him today. He that dog on the phone. What hit? They ain't hitting this dog on a big daddy jig. Show our truth when they're not touching it. We got to take put something else on. Okay. That's all this to. We got to put something else on up here. That's all this to. Let's put a gold one on. Put a gold one on. See if they'll bite it. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's life. Hope we get us a bass or two for days of. You never know. What you gonna catch in 20 foot of water, 22 foot of water? They feed on on shad, see? Hey, that circle swing's getting them. That circle swing is getting them. But they're not real big, I can tell you that. They not real big. They not real big. I know some bigger ones out here somewhere. They biting though, I'll tell you that. It gets to the bottom one bumps it. If I can stay on them. There you. There you. There you is. Just ain't the big ones. I know some big ones right here somewhere. I know it. It might be deeper. I don't know. They bumping it though. Tell you what, they out there. No question about that. They out there. Hey, he's hitting it. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. They like that circle swing now. You can keep it that day is. Hey, there he is. There he is. Now that's a bigger one. That's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for. Oh, we got two. That's what's wrong. We got two. I thought we had a big one. One little one, one medium. And once, yeah, little one, a medium. All right, put it back out there with a big boy's lie. I tell you, I was under the weather here for about four or five days. I, I, I tried to do a video and couldn't have a talk. Hey, I'm glad y'all uh, patient with the old fisherman. 
But uh, we maybe we get back on some fish in Lake Murray. Lake Monticello is too unpredictable. My goodness, I don't know what's wrong with them. That water's down and they ain't right. I mean, I caught some yesterday, but they they sure they sure didn't act right. I do better than Lake Murray right now. No doubt about that. Gets a lot more fish, a lot more bites. They bite me. All we gotta do is swing it. There you he There you he There you he Catching a lot of numbers, not a lot of whoppers. They're hitting that orange in this dingy water. You see about a foot deep. And I don't know how to use a three rig like this in this shallow water, but it's working. Working. Fogs done come in here. Maybe we catch a few before it gets real bright sunshiny. Maybe we'll catch a few. Definitely some in here. I'd like for them to be a lot bigger. Hey, when they some in here, about <clears throat> like catching brim. What this is. Catching brim. All right, let's, let's turn this boat. Get in a 45 and pull these double, triple jigs. You catch something. I don't see them like I did, though. I got off of them. deep of what we're doing. I gotta see where I went. There he is. There he is. There he is. <coughs> ain't too bad. They just ain't ain't jumbos. They uh, size under jumbos. Size under jumbos. <coughs> and I believe we own some right here. I believe we own some right here. <laughs> I believe we own some right here. Oh my, pretty nice one. Hey, pretty nice one. See if we can catch them. Loving life, the old fisherman. We own some perch right here. We're gonna lay it to them. Lake Murray, starting to get overcast. They ought to go to bite. And uh, we're gonna try to catch them too. There he is. Hey, there he is. See if we can get a couple of times. See if we can get a couple more. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Let's see how many we got. Let's see how many we got. Uh-oh, got two. Huh? Got two. Got love, two. Got love, two. That was a little strike. I had to throw him back. All right, put it back out there. See what we can do. I think we got something going on right here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm seeing lots of fish. Maybe this is the spot we've been looking for all day right here. Loving life. Hey, loving life. Oh, there he was. There he was. There he was. They hitting it. They down there. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. Oh my. What? Look at him. Two at a time again. Two at a time again. A little stripe and a little perch. Two at a time again. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. See if we get a nut. He got the one this time, but he's a jumbo magnum. Let me tell you, he's a jumbo magnum. 
Killing time. You know it's not good to kill time when the fish are under you. See if they'll take that thing ain't looking right. See if they'll take it. Drop it down. Let's drop it down. To the bottom where the big boys lie. See them like I did. Got off of them. Pulled back around him. Dog, gone it. Got off of them. They were all up under me, too. Hopefully, we can get back on them. Might not want Mr. Slider. There's a bite. There's a bite. Uh oh. They done moved. But they don't stay quick. They don't, they'll leave in a minute. It probably ain't far if we can go the right direction. Uh-oh. Oh, go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Little one. Real little. Real little. On the spoon. They probably don't want that slider, do you? minute or two and I'm gonna take it off. I don't like that color. I need some orange jigs. I ain't got any orange jigs. <clears throat> Boy, it's nice. I feel a little bit better. Not a lot better, but I feel a little bit better. <clears throat> now, there comes some right there. They ain't hitting that dog on black jig. Hey, they don't hit just anything. That's for sure. That was a bump. They ain't wanting that dog on black jig. Funny how they, they got certain colors they want. You got to use what they want. I ain't got an orange. I ain't got a lot of orange. There you go. Orange is a dirty water color. I'm not used to fishing in dirty water. Hey, that's a nice one right there, though. Got him on a spoon. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. They ain't hitting this dog on you. Gotta take it off. We got to put something else on them. They ain't want that. They don't want a slider. Dog on orange on that. To eat all my oranges up. I ain't have but a couple. Let's try that one. Come on for that. Come on for that. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Come on. You got to hate wrap up when you're in a hurry. Come on for that. Don't go on, you aggravate. Get out there. One thing right after another. You got to get it out there to catch them. Be sure to turn on with this weather turning cloudy. They ought to really turn on. I just wish I'd get on some big ones. A lot of little ones. They bumping it. There's a few out here. It's a big school out here. You can get right on them. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, you don't get a nut. You don't get a nut. Pull 
pull him on in. Little ones. Babies. 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 There you go. They weren't cold. That's a nice one. There's some good ones in here. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Got him in the belly. What it is. Got him in the belly. Hey, she didn't do nothing. They out here, they on a little hump out here in the middle of a cold. And uh, the water, you can see about a foot deep. Water temperature 54 degrees. And we're slow trolling with these daggone jigs. Now, suppose. There you go. See that? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, some of them nice, some of them ain't. That ain't a bad one. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, man, he sucked that spoon, too. And get him out. Mm -mm. Got him though. Hey, put it back out there and catch some more of these. They in here, they suspended really shallow water. There a lot of them in here in this creek. Look at that. Hey, on this hump out here is where they at. Middle of this creek. Nice ones too, some of them. Hey, got him on a dog on Big Daddy G. Big Daddy and a berry spoon at the bottom is what we got. 18 foot of water and perches everywhere. They everywhere in here. I'm telling you, they everywhere. They all scattered through here. All we got to do is pull these jigs. There he is. There he is. Hey, there he is. And that's a good one. That's a good one. What? That is a slab. Oh, what he is. My goodness. You got a, two of them. Hey, come in here, boy. Two of them, both of them nice ones. We might be done found the jumbos. We might be found the jumbos, people. Come on, put that jumbo. Bleeding all over my boat. That's for you. Bleeding all over the boat. That's a jumbo magnum, though. Hey, we got something going on here now. That show is bleeding. Good gracious. My goodness. Bleeding all over the place. Hey, glad you could be with the old fisherman on another episode. We finally getting over this. I hope we getting over it. I don't relapse myself. Over this doggone cold. Hey, we on some fish right here. Doggone right, we on some fish. I got the line on the tangle around my rod. Huh, we on some fish in here. We on some good ones too. Look at that. Oh yeah. Doggone. Little striper. I gotta throw him back. I gotta throw him back. I don't wanna throw him back like a second. Hey. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I gotta throw that. I gotta throw that striper back. I got all confused on that one. Let me put my my boat on spot lock. Chump that dog on striper back. I'm gonna drop it down. I'm chunk him back right quick. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Doggone it. Alright. Throw it back out. Oh Lord, they down there. Hey, they down there. We gonna catch them. We gonna catch them. Right here. And right now. They down there. I'm telling you, they down there. They're everywhere. 19 foot of water, and we got it going on right here, buddy. We got it going on right here. We got on the bunch of them. Loving lives, that's what we doing. Let me mark my spot, because we really on. All right, I see a little spot that way I can mark. We are really on them, I tell you that. They have that. plenty of them. I had a couple gulls diving in here and I stopped and my goodness, they everywhere. Hey, oh, missed him. Missed him. Circle his butt, we'll get him. They, they hitting it. They hitting it. They bumping it. on a 
drove there for a second, buddy. I tell you that, we dropped off a little deeper now. Dropped off a little deeper. Dev one. Dev one. Dev one. Dev one. We can do it a lot faster with his three rig. It's a little bit heavier. And uh, two jigs and a spoon. Half ounce berry spoon. What we're doing today, instead of the double rig and ultralight, we just slow trolling spoon and two jigs. What we're doing, we catch them. We catch them. I can't believe I ought to be catching two and three at a time. It's so doggone shallow, though. You got it up so far before you before you know it. them like we was. I kind of drifted off of them. Or well, they left me. But there's plenty of them around. We'll get back on them. There you Hey, there you We catching them, ain't we? Hey, we catching them. We catching them. We got them down there, too. Look at him. Huh? Look at him. Laying it to them. They're not all big, but we laying it to them. We having fun, ain't we? Huh? We having fun. Lake Murray loving life. And feeling a little bit better. I can at least talk. About a week I ain't been able to talk. Horse. Hey, we got it going on right now. We got it going on. We catching them, ain't we? We filling a box full of a day. We got them coming in left and right. This is what's called speed catching. Speed catching, people. You got to love speed catching. Drop it to the bottom and wind it up, and you got one on it. Speed catch. Uh oh, had a bite. <coughs> if they be pound a half, we'd be, we'd be in hog heaven. They'd be all pound half. They want it trolling, though. If you can move that thing, troll it, they can't stand it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't see them like I did. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Have one. Come in here, boy. They all are about three quarter, half three quarter pounds. Good eating size, but they're not real jumbos. They'd be jumbos. We'd be in hog heaven. I'll tell you that. We'd be in hog heaven. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Hey, good to feel halfway decent again. Man, that crud got me big time. It got me big time. I don't mind telling you. I don't mind telling you, that crud got me. There he is. There he is. Hey, there he is. Oh my, there he is. Man, we own them, I tell you that. I just wish they was bigger. Drop it to the bottom. Hey, you can do it fast with this uh, three jigs. It drops around real quick. Got a heavier rod, we can get them on in. We can work them over like this. If they bite like this, we can work them over. Hey, we can work them over. See if we can get a nothing out of this one. No, we can or not. No, we ain't got but one. They ain't bad size. I mean, they ain't. Hey, whoppers, but they ain't bad size. Only thing about old Monticello, you got a chance to catch a big old large mouth. Over here, you hardly ever catch a large mouth. Once in a while you catch one like this. I'm surprised I ain't catching a crappie like this. 19 foot of water, there ought to be some crappies in here amongst all this stuff. You know the crappies got to be running with some of these perch. Now there's fish everywhere in here. They everywhere. Look at them. That's what I'm talking about. They everywhere. Oh my, they everywhere. I mean, look at that little stripe. We got to throw him back. Come here, boy. Come here. We got to throw him back. I hate throwing them fish back. They'll stir them up. Uh, they'll mess them up. I'm afraid. I got them going. Anyhow, got to throw them back. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. 20 foot now. It's a big old cove in here, and it's in the middle of a doggone hump. And we on the hump in the middle of the cove. And them fish are out there on that hump feet. Got dingy water conditions, and 
so that makes, a makes them shallow. Makes them easier to, quicker to catch. You can catch them quick in this shallow water than if it's dingy. And we, we laying it to them. We flat laying it to them. Like I say, they ain't all huge, but we laying it to them. We putting it to them. Loving life of the old fisherman. Thanks for all the orders. <coughs> Still got a tickle though. Thanks for all the orders. Got to go to the post office after a while. Uh, thanks to Richard Jane, my buddy. Yeah, me and Richard become friends now. I, we talk with each other quite regular now. And uh, he wore my doggone shirt yesterday on his show, catching them shell crackers. I'd love to get out there fish with Richard. Love the fish with me, so we never know what might happen. But, uh, hey, we might be going to do a show with the Carolina Outdoors TV. Uh, don't know whether it's going to be Lake Murray or Lake Monticello fishing. We want to do it on Lake Monticello, but if the fish don't tighten up, we might be on Lake Murray. We might be doing some of this right here. But uh, perch catch with a three rig. But that's in a couple weeks that's going to happen. Be on the cable channel. Unless it falls through, so far it's supposed to happen. And uh, we'll see. Give y'all a heads up on that. It comes on on Sunday mornings on, on uh, Spectrum, uh, on the local channel. Carolina Outdoor Mag uh, TV, not magazine, TV. Look at that, we laying it to them, ain't we? Huh, we laying it to them. That's all I got to say. We laying it to them now. We catching fish like, I like to catch fish now. We done found them. It took me a while to get on these fish. I've been over here off about a half a mile, and I was pulling around here, and I seen a couple gulls, and, and I pulled in here, and by gosh, we got them in here. They in here, they in here big time. They in here big time. There's piles of them in here. We done found the mother load. Uh, ain't all of them big, but I promise you, we done found the mother load. Uh, and they killing it. They bumping it. I know it's got to be some big ones in here, too, scattered with them. There's so many dogs going to perch in here that some of them small. Small stripers, too. Hey, we laying it to them. That's all I got to say. We laying it to them. And these are not whoppers, but hey, they're big enough. And when you catch them this fast, it's fun. It's just absolutely dynamite. I'd like to have the extreme fishing boys in the boat with me today because they dynamite catch them here. We lay it to them. Now they might, hey, they'll, they'll leave in a minute, but right now, I don't see a lot right this second. Kind of pull off of them. I done caught myself pushing way down. So a lot of times though, you, 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 these fish are kind of following the activity. And if you pull down, you, kill, you catch them, you decide, well, I'm getting off of where I was at and pull back the way you that, you get off the fish because the fish has been following you with the activity. Uh, I don't see them like I did. Boy, we had them under us a little bit. Good gracious sakes alive. We had them everywhere. Got to get back on them. Got to get back on them. Let's stir them up and beat them. Throw the jig out in the water. Of them. I can feel it. I don't see them. Man, they were there. Hey, they, we laid it to them. What? I'll tell you one thing, we got a pile of fish to clean. And they ain't fillet size, so they hold, fry whole size today. We off of them right now, though. Kind of got off of them. See if we search around and get back on them. They out there somewhere. And it's one heck of a school, too. I mean, a heck of a school. That, that was bite, that one, that one. Rod, don't wrap around the end of my rod. Lines wrap around the end of my rod. Okay, let's get him on in. Let's get him on in. Let's get him on in. These here ain't the size perch that I'm wanting. I keep throwing them back, but hey, old Loney can't get them here. Loney ain't over here. I tell you, Loney's really hurting Lake Monticello. 
Because as soon as you get on fish over there, the water's so clear, they, they diving down and getting them and running them off. And over here, we ain't got that problem. And this place is slam packed full of perch, too. I can tell you that. I see that. Somewhere, it's all big, it's just like these small ones. Oh Lord, that was a bigger than grabbing. That was a rockfish. Rockfish. Got to be a rockfish. My goodness. <laughs> that was a striper and nailed that thing. I was trolling real fast to pull into the cove. That was a striper that apparently are up high. Hey, that's a nice one, that, uh, that might be a keeper. No. It might be. Curious of what I got him on. I got him on the doggone Big Daddy G. No, I don't. I got him on the spoon. He hit the doggone spoon. He hit the doggone spoon. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah. That's the keeper size there. That's the keeper size there. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper size there. Let me go over here to <sighs> measure him, but I thought that's a keeper size. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, Lord. He got that spoon, though. He got that spoon. He got that spoon. Look at the size of that one. That's a good one there.